Hey, everybody, in case you haven't heard, a couple of weeks ago, AdSense rolled out AdSense Direct, which now allows you to sell ads from third parties directly on your site using AdSense. So let's say Joe comes to your site and Joe wants to pay you $200 to place an ad right here in this AdSense unit. You can now manage all of that through AdSense and I'm gonna go over everything here and show you how it works. So the first thing you're gonna do is negotiate price with the person and you'll do this you know via email or offline or whatever. So once you've negotiated a price you're gonna log into AdSense and I'm gonna show you how to do this and you're gonna set up a campaign and it's pretty simple once you have the campaign it's gonna generate a link and you send that link over to the advertiser so they can then set up their banner and their link and then you approve the link once you've approved the link and the banner then Google will do the same thing and then the ad will begin running on the day that you guys have agreed upon so once the ad finishes then your AdSense ads return and begin running just like they were before. So there's no lag, there's no interruption in any kind of ad serving. AdSense manages everything on the back end and then they take 15% of what you're going to earn from the campaign. So here's how you set up a campaign. You're going to log into AdSense and then you're going to go to My Ads up top and then click Direct Campaign. As you can see, it's still in beta. So you're going to give the campaign a name, choose what site you're going to run the ads on, choose an ad unit which should already be created, then you're going to select the dates. So let's say for this example you're going to run the ad from February 11th to March 11th. So you're just going to select the dates just like that and let's say you've agreed on $200, just type that in and Google will automatically compute the cost per day and also show you what your earnings are going to be minus the 15 percent that they take so when you're done you just click save and get link and this will generate a link that you'll then send to the advertiser so they can set up their campaign so let's talk about how payments are going to work so let's say the ad starts running on February 11th Google is going to take the money or debit the advertisers account using Google Wallet they must use Google Wallet which could be seen as an advantage or a disadvantage depending on how you're looking at it and what you think about Google Wallet and you will get your money on the 21st of the subsequent month so Google takes the money from the advertiser on the day that the ad begins and the ads always begin running at midnight on the day that the ad is to start so let's say it starts on February 11th and runs through March 11th well you'll get your payment on March 21st because that's the 21st of the subsequent month that the ad started running on does that make sense so that's how the payment structure works now whether or not you you're gonna use this is obviously gonna depend on your strategy I'm not gonna say you should I'm not gonna say you shouldn't it really depends let's just say you're earning I don't know three hundred dollars a month from this top AdSense unit AdSense unit on your site and somebody says hey I'll pay you two hundred and fifty for an ad per month well obviously you're not gonna do that because that's less than what this unit is earning but maybe that same person would pay for an ad over here on the left column and maybe you can manage that using let's just say a WordPress plugin because there's tons of WordPress plugins out there that allow you to manage ads so you can keep your AdSense earnings that you're earning and then you can manage that ad using let's just say a different plugin and you don't have to share the revenue with Google you're only gonna share maybe two percent with PayPal or whatever you're using to collect the money so it's sort of up to you you kinda of have to weigh the pros and cons and see if this makes financial or business sense for you to use the other thing you need to know is that this does not work on responsive units if you don't know what a responsive unit is it probably means you're not using them anyway but for those of you guys that have responsive WordPress themes these are sites that automatically resize and adjust when they're viewed on mobile browsers smaller browsers which something I highly recommend you use these days well when you use responsive themes you can also use responsive ad units meaning these ads will automatically resize when somebody views the site on a smaller device if you're using responsive ad units with AdSense you cannot use AdSense Direct 
because that would mean the advertiser would then have to upload multiple sizes and I guess that would get a little tricky I'm guessing that's probably why they don't allow that so that's just something to keep in mind but if you're not using responsive units and let's just say you're using a 300 by 250 unit on your left column that's not a responsive unit so you'll be able to use this service so I definitely wanted to point that out so that's AdSense Direct in a nutshell you guys let me know what you think are you gonna use it are you not gonna use it and I will see you in the comments bye bye